Hello, Mr. Miran here. Welcome to Diablo 2 Lord of Destruction. Okay, so Lord of Destruction, the expansion set for Diablo 2. The expansion was released in 2001, and the original game Diablo 2 was released in, in the year 2000. Okay, we will continue the Andariel mod. So Andariel is an Amazon, but due to some mods, she will be looking like Andariel in the game, and she has a unique skill tree. Okay, <coughs> she is level 24 right now. I killed every single monster in every area up until this point. That's why she's very high leveled for someone that has just entered Act 3, I believe. Greetings. So we're on Act 3. There are a lot of civilians here that we can't speak to. I speak to this girl, Rattly. I'll do it. Welcome to Karas, traveler. Few come willingly to this ancient city anymore. I hope you brought your wits with you, for sanity is in short supply here. My name is Hratli. I am a sorcerer skilled in metalwork. It'd be a pleasure to help you. I don't have many customers these days. As you can see, the populace has been brutally decimated by the forces of Mephisto. The canals run red with blood, and demons roam the land. The wretched jungle hell has already reclaimed much of Karas. The only safety you'll find is here at the dark side, where a magical warning holds the jungle evils at bay. But I don't know how long it will last. To make matters worse, the children of Zakarum are in league with the forces of Mephisto. The Zakarum have concentrated their power in the temple city of Travancol, located within Karas deep in the jungle wilderness. It's true, their zeal is unmatched, but I say the so-called warriors of light are nothing more than the twisted puppets of a hidden hand. Okay, that was a guy. I thought it was a girl yes. at first. Oh, this guy can repair all, uh, all our equipment. She'll do that. Speak. Gossip. If you are another father of Zakarum, I've told you people before I don't want your towering spire or anything else you have to sell. Welcome to Karas, traveler. Alright. Can enable the mina map. Well, Speak to this I guy. gave you my word and brought you here as promised. But by all that's still holy, I wish I'd never return to this accursed place. This fetid jungle can't be the fair Kurast I left behind. I don't know what all this evil is, my friend, but it's obvious that you must stop it. I only pray that you can before the jungle consumes the last vestiges of my beloved homeland. Yosep. I went to speak with old Alcor, but I disturbed his studies. He doesn't seem to like visitors. Speak to the others. Ormus. You now speak to Ormus. He was once a great mage, but now lives like a rat in a sinking vessel. You have questions for Ormus, and doubt in yourself. Ormus sees a strange dichotomy in you, as he does in all would-be heroes. Speak to him, and he may grant you wisdom in turn. Or turn from him and seek wisdom in thyself. Yes. Alcor is able to explain things much more clearly than Ormus. All right, we can. My healing potions here. Sell some stuff too. I've not set foot in glorious Kurast for many years, 
But I never would have imagined it could be so corrupted. Certainly this must be Mephisto's work. You'd best get going, my friend. Diablo and Bale are still out there, and you must find them. Good day. Ormus would like you to think him mad. Better to watch his actions than listen to his words. You have quite a treasure there in that Haradric cube. According to Haradric lore, the cube can restore a Haradric staff. To do it, use the cube as you would a scroll. When the cube opens, place both pieces of the staff into it and use the cube's transmute power. You'll be pleased to know that the cube has other alchemical uses as well. Six gems plus one sword transmute into a socketed longsword. You may also transmute two quivers of crossbow bolts into one quiver of arrows, while two quivers of arrows yield one quiver of bolts. I must leave it to you to discover other formulae. Here's the waypoint. Check for other characters. Here we have Alcor. Damn it! I wish you people would just leave me alone. I oh, you're new here, aren't you? I am Alcor the Alchemist. I dabble in potions and salves, and I can sell you some if you really need them. But don't make a habit of coming here. I don't like to be disturbed while I'm studying. Rutley's only good for making his silly magic weapons. It's not like he's got the stones to actually go out and use them in anything. Okay, we can get antidote potions, towing potions, and stamina potions here. There are a lot of poisonous enemies in this what area, I believe. Okay, gamble. We can gamble too. Okay. He's like the very of this place, very from the first act. Okay, there are a lot of NPCs too. Let's go to the Ashera here. Hello there. You must be an Amazon. I've heard about your people. Nomadic warriors without peer. My name's Ashira. And I lead the mercenary band of mages known as the Iron Wolves. We've been hunting down demons in the jungle for months. But no matter how many of them we kill, they just keep coming. Seems this whole place has been overrun by evil. Rumor has it that you've come here to help. If that's true, then I'll let you hire some of my mercenaries. But be careful. If you piss them off, they can be worse than those monsters out in the jungle. What can I do for you? Raid. Forgot to check the other um, like tiles. I mean, anyway, I don't need to buy anything. You can hire a sorcerer here, but I don't want to replace the rogue. She's pretty good. Level 23. We had her. The entire playthrough, the entire let's play. It fits better with the Dariel. Talia, an assassin will speak to her. An assassin with the cape. She looks more lit than a woman. Zero. I've heard of your exploits and uh, I'm quite impressed. Very few mortals are capable of dealing with the three and their minions, as you have. My name is Natalia. I am a hunter of evil, part of an ancient order sworn to hunt down corrupted sorcerers. If I could, I would gladly join your quest to stop the three. But I must wait here for further news. I can't predict what will happen, but the danger is greater than we can know. Until I receive my orders, I'll assist you with the information I have. Right. Goes up. I've heard the name of Deckard Kane many times. 
He's the last of the Haradrim, and thus I must honor him. He must be powerful indeed if one such as he accompanies you. Right. A lot of NPCs in Act 3. Many more than in Act 1 and 2. It's like a real city here. The old NPCs, but we can't speak to them. Unfortunately. Females <coughs> or women. Have a chest here too. All right. I don't have any quest. We'll leave. Oh, here we have the Dark Wanderer. Diablo himself. The cinematics. Couldn't really speak with him. He just spawned a bunch of enemies. any enemies we find in this area. Yeah, I found these uh, fetish guys, the smaller guys, the kids. Real annoying. I call them as kid playing the game with normal characters but I'm overpowered now I have killed every single monster as I said in every single area so I'm pretty strong I'm level 24 maybe I otherwise it would be like anymore. level 15 or 16 or something not sure I am 17 at least a few levels weaker and that of course would mean I would be very weak against those enemies. The Jade figurine. Quest log. Ask Kane about the Jade figurine. We'll do that. First we'll kill some monsters. I can't carry anymore. one actually looked good. Quite level 16. It's way better than ours. Can I flesh? Can I head? Can I sign? Okay. I'll really use that one instead. This area is very colorful though, very beautiful, didn't realize, it looked a lot more interesting than the uh, second act, it was basically just the desert and the first act was mostly dungeons and catacombs, very dark. <coughs> this jungle is more beautiful to watch. Look at <laughs> torn 
Hold on. Yeah. Skin hardness. used to be real annoying but they are weak now so, so it's fine they are real annoying because they had knockback and they hit you so, so it was annoying to fight them. and they used to run back and forth all the time as well I can't carry anymore. it's an annoying enemy to fight if you're weaker Shit. That bigger kid, the, the shaman leader, was actually pretty strong. A lot of damage. the arachnid lair but we don't want to enter any lair we just want to kill all the monsters on the outside here I have a waypoint we can go back to the crest docks Good speak to Dr. Kane my chief told me he had a fondness for jade figurines on his trading voyages he collected an odd assortment of such small statues I would show him your figurine. Show Meshrift the figurine. The quest name is the Golden Bird. Okay. Go to Meshrift then. Praise you. That jade figurine will complete the set I was collecting. Here. I've had this statuette of a golden bird for years, but I consider it a fair exchange. I am overburdened. Quest log ask Kane about the golden bird. Alright. I've read legends about a sage named Kuile who studied the mysteries of life beyond death. If I remember correctly. His ashes were ensconced within a golden statuette. It was a very strange tale. Give the golden bird to Alcor. Okay. Ah, the golden bird of Quile? Thank you, my friend. Busy yourself while I experiment with the ashes within it. Then return and see what I've made for you. Turn to Alka for a reward. From the ashes of Quile, I have mixed for you a potion. Right. Potion of life. I am overburdened. Right click to 
permanently add 20 to life. Sure, we'll do that. Got more health now. Speak to David Kane. Never forget that your ultimate purpose here in Kurast is to destroy Mephisto. The ancient Horodrim imprisoned the Lord of Hatred inside the Guardian Tower that is located within the temple city of Travancall. Know this, friend. The only way to gain entry to Mephisto's prison is to destroy the artifact known as the Compelling Orb. Mephisto used this device to control the Zakarum priests and their followers. The orb can only be destroyed with an ancient flail imbued with the spirit of the one incorruptible priest. Soon after his imprisonment, Mephisto worked his evil corruption on the Zakarum priesthood. All were turned to his dark ways, save one, Kalim, the K. Hagen of the High Council. Mephisto directed the other council priests to slay and dismember Kalim, and then scatter his remains across the kingdom. The priest Sankakur succeeded Kalim as K. Hagen, eventually becoming the embodiment of Mephisto here on the mortal plane. The corrupted High Council fashioned an orb to control the rest of the Zakarum faithful and used their powers to hide the lair of their master from mortals. Your task is to collect the scattered relics of Kalim, his heart, his brain, and his eye. Then, using the Horodric Cube, transmute Kalim's flail with his relics. Once this is accomplished, you must destroy the compelling orb with Kalim's will to open the way into the corrupt sanctum of Mephisto. Alright, quest log. Finish the first quest, the Golden Bird. We are now given a new quest, Kalim's Whale. Find Kalim's relics, search for his eye in the spider cavern. It might be that cavern where I used uh, here. Spider forest. Needler, probably inside that place. You don't want to do that yet. You want to kill all the monsters first. The snake said. Uh, like ambient creatures moving around. We found a corpse, a human, then sits on a grass.
it was the sound of those kids that I didn't like as a kid. Now I don't really, really care. But yeah, I didn't like those kids. <laughs> and they're sad. Bridge, kill people on the other side, kill the monsters on the other side, not people. They are not really kids, they are like demon kids. forest kill any monsters we have failed to kill Spider cavern. Ah, so there are two different caves. This is the one we needed to find the quest. We've already finished one quest. I might finish that one too. Spiders there. Like in the second act, 
Poison attacks. We'll kill everyone just to gain the experience. This is not the right key. Request. It's not. I need a key. Just too bad. We'll go for the spider cavern. If we restart the game, all the monsters will respawn. So we need to do the cavern before we exit. Graphics are better than in the original game. Let's enter the spider cavern. The resolution is better. Here we have some maggots.
That's not a burning. Enhanced damage, 4 to minimum damage, 16 to attack rating, 6% life stolen per head. And this had perhaps 6 lightning damage, 10% increased attack speed, very fast attack speed, 4% mana stolen per head. And it's socked dead. Well, this one had lightning damage. Fifty. Lightning damage is pretty good. Put that to good use. But we'll um, impossible. For now we will. Let us use that one. Test better damage. We'll see if it's better or not. Search for Kalim's brain in the Flayer dungeon. Okay. Go and kill the rest of the monsters here now first. a place called the Flayer Dungeon. Some birds flying around. <coughs> Need to go move over that bridge. Entering the Great Marsh. Spiritual force recovers quickly.
potions and a scroll of identifying. Scroll of time portals. Could also be picked up. No longer fear fire. Okay. Good. Here's some flamethrower units of draw. Skin hardens. Entering the flayer jungle. Here we will find the area where we need to. Let me see. Flayer dungeon. We are in the flayer jungle. The kids are more difficult here. Just demon kids. Poison on all of them. Otherwise, if I were to try and one shot all of them, they would probably win. Because they take a lot of to be many. They are the players. Stronger kids. Feel annoying enemies. There are many. Carry anymore. 
a waypoint. We'll take it. Flayer jungle. But we missed the great marsh one. Here we have a swampy pit level one. It might not be the right area. Overburdened. I can't carry any more. Longer f fear fire. Okay. Great Mars is here. We need to find that waypoint of this area.
zombies had a, like a cool attack. Cool effect and the attack. Physical. Character. Not frozen. side of the bridge no longer fair light Fire. I can't carry any more. Short barriers where we haven't been here. Fear. Leveled up. Perfect. I am overburdened. Okay. Oh 
actually let's see what I need in here. Ah, the loser they guys did shoot lightning. Here. I am overburdened. Here now, Keeping the monsters are here. Here's the waypoint. Go back to Karast. Great Speak to David Kane. Ah, Kalim's eye. Only it can reveal the true path to Mephisto. Place the eye in the Herodric cube along with Kalim's other relics. The heart, the brain, and the flail. Alright. We'll do that later. Then we have it all. We're done here. Great marsh. Bridge to the other side of the bridge and kill the monsters there. Picked up 
super rune. Everyone here now. Might be an area here we had been. <laughs> On that side too. Move there now. I believe, yeah. Need to go to that flare area now. Enter that tomb. There was only one tomb. tomb. So we should go there now. Actually, we can do this. Flare jungle. Dangerous. Your experience teaches you well. Not good. Move back. there. Come <laughs> on. 
feel healthy. Eh? Nice. Here is another level. I need to kill everyone in this level first. Good day. Good day. Refill our healing potions. I can't. Dungeon again, the second level. This swamp level fit to the swampy pit level two. All right. We have a boss. That's why we almost died here. Yeah. dangerous to be surrounded by those small kid-like beings.
experience teaches you well. there okay so move down there oh another level the swamp pit level 3 move there immediately Stay a while and listen. Good evening. some areas here that we haven't explored so we'll continue to explore the swamp pit level 3 <laughs> Alright, nothing to do today. 
I am overburdened. This is the swampy pit. The quest said, search for Kalim's brain in the Flayer Dungeon. I'm not sure this is the Flayer Dungeon. No, it might not be. Flayer Jungle. Might be another area we need to find here somewhere the flare down in the flare jungle There is a bridge here where we can cross. We'll do that then.
overburdened. Ah, to the flare danger level one. Perfect. Found the area, finally. We found another area inside the. Okay, I want that item. It's a quest item. Impossible. Gibden quest log. Return the Gibden, Gibden to Ormus. congratulates you. The old spirits of Skatsim will watch over you for returning their sacred blade. Now, after all these years, Ormus will once again use his powers to protect the innocent from the shadow. The spell that protects the dark side shall now be reinforced. Talk to Ashiara. We'll do that. Now that fewer of the Iron Wolves are needed to guard the dark side, some of them have volunteered to accompany you free of charge. Right, I uh, yeah. Talk to Ormus again. This magic ring does me no good. Here, wear it proudly. I got the ring. Have a grass ring. Right, level seven. Believe we will finish the brain thing too in the flare dungeon, but then we need to find probably his heart. Yeah. So we won't be able to finish his quest anyway. We finished the golden bird and the blade of the old religion and the Kalim's will we found one out of three items. We kind of want to find at least the brain too. Greetings. Dungeon level one. Should be a lot of kids here. Stay are the players. Skeletons. Skeleton kids are very stronger. Player dungeon level 2. We found it, but we need to kill everyone in this. Level 1 first. Like we have done in all other areas. Don't 
want to leave any survivors, we want the maximum experience that we can get, that makes us stronger, so we have an easier time with bosses and such in the game later. Feel refreshed. First level very soon. There we are down here. I will go to level two. Entering the Flayer Dungeon level 2. Your experience teaches you well. Carry anymore. 
enemies here. Kill. This place looks like it has a lot of money and items laying around. Nothing of uh, real value. Daniel level 3. So this is the third level. Move there immediately. Yes. <laughs> doctor killed the boss there. Heart in the sewers under the crust of the sun. Okay. Sounds like it is from the city we we'll need to enter. Speak Hello. to Dick Kane. This is most fortunate. 
Kalim's brain knows Mephisto's weakness. Place it in the Herodric cube along with Kalim's other relics. The eye, the heart, and the flail. Okay. Place I can't. Brain. I and brain. We need one more. Good day. My order has been keeping watch over Ormus for many years now. He seems to champion the cause of good, but who knows what shadow lurks within his soul. Bradley is over here now. Greetings. Let's repair everything. Speak. Our core is a portion dealer, given over to a life steeped in ceaseless study and dissipation. Welcome to Korast. Good day! Kalim ah, said. Kalim's eye! Only it can reveal the true path to Mephisto. Pla Judging from his dress and strange markings, I would guess that Ormus is from the ancient Tarn Mage Clan. Yet none of the others here seem to know that he is a sorcerer. The Tarn were once as powerful as the Vigerai Clan, but their studies were even more secretive. I wonder what he's hiding. Yes. Ashira is both proud and self-conscious of her womanhood. Good day. Aratli may be a bit too clever for his own good. Still, I'd trust his work any time. Or this is an evil guy, we'll see. I don't really remember much of this act. S speak to this guy now. The dark side is apparently the only civilized area left in Gurast. Speak to Al Alcor or whatever he was named. Alcor. Ormus has been talking in riddles for years. I think he does it to cover up the fact that he's got nothing intelligent to say. Search for Kalim's heart in the sewers under the Karast Bazaar.
Crust, Crust Bazaar. Ah, we need to find this area and then move to Crust Bazaar. Your jungle. If we exit now, we will obviously have to kill all the monsters again. Flying, we need to vent. Eh, sorry, we need to wait until it moves. <laughs> Flaming guys, ones with the flamethrower. Like they're shamans. So dangerous. Take a lot of damage. Go back and buy new potions from Ormus. Okay, 
dangerous the potions Overburdened. Light plate boots fourteen to six. We have better ones. Okay. Our ally can't carry. Well, I think the bow is better. Entering lower crest. Before we go there, I want to kill the rest of the monsters. The flare jungle. There are still monsters to kill here. We haven't been everywhere yet. The area was very vast. Very big area. here even if I missed anyone on the other side of that bridge over there might have to go back a bit check I don't want to miss anyone Done. Now we can move to the other place. We will f find a waypoint and new enemies. We need that waypoint. We don't want to fight all these monsters again. So we'll fight. We will play until we find the next waypoint. At least.
right, entering lower crest. Buzzards. Hell buzzard. Okay. Some new red birds. So this is lower crest. Gardens. Overburdened. I can't carry anymore. soon.
ages since I played a tree. I never liked that tree. I need to lose kids. So I avoided playing it. Here's the grass for sure. Fear poison, they're immune to poison for a short period of time. load again I believe the enemies will of course be respawned so you might want to find the other waypoint here yeah. from the other area entering the cross of SR Quest Search for Kalim's heart in the sewers under the crest bazaar. Might be there, I'm not certain. But it's the wrong place. Thank <laughs> you. 
Christ. You're not supposed to go there yet. Sewers in this area. Here is the waypoint. Crest Bazaar. And I have Upper Crest, Travengal, and Durance of Hate level 2. Also, when we restart the game, that we lose all the map stuff. We may want to finish this quest before exiting. Then we have finished three quests in one video. sewers level one so, so we have the sewers here and then we have another area over there Sewers. Perfect. I have a mini boss here too. Take the healing potions. Then we'll level up our skills. It's locked.
Manny. Quite a lot of gold. Longer fear poison.
Ah, to upper crest. No, I don't want to go there. It's another path into the sewers. We're supposed to find an item here in the sewer. Well, it's level 25 now, so... We are at 26, okay. We level up again. Level up two times. During this episode. Potions. Very easy to use. It's locked. Crest Bazaar. That one was to upper crest. We're supposed to find it in the sewers. passage deeper into the sewers please move down and the sewers level 2 
chest. Callum's heart, finally I found it. Quest log, search for Callum's flail in Travancal. The very high town so. Ah, so I need to find a flail too. Impossible. So I have the heart, the eye, and the brain. But we need a weapon too. found Kalim's heart, and it still bears the courage to face Mephisto. Place it in the Herodric cube along with Kalim's other relics, the eye, the brain, and the flail. Alright. Still lack the flail. Search for Kalim's flail in Travancal. Beware of the High Council. Travancal is this area. We need the first move past upper crest and if uh, you go to crest bazaar again we had a second dungeon that, that we need to Strong, those mini bosses there. Female characters, they look exactly like an act one. <laughs> they were dangerous, they almost died. Oh, lamb essence. I can't oh. hear you anymore. Mason's tomb. Search the six temples in the bazaar, upper crest, and the causeway for Lamason's tomb. Okay, first log. Talk to Alcor. It should give all of us here some insight into the nature of the prime evils. Ah, but as for you... All this trouble over a tattered book. Okay, so I got some stats. Let's add it to dexterity. Hello. 
You have found a source of information powerful enough to turn the tide against the Zakarum. Yes. Hello. A rally may be a bit too close. Completed, nice. So we only have the flail left here and we have two other missions. Probably this is my fist to kill my fist and this one is another one. I don't know exactly which one that is. I went to speak with old Alcor, but I disturbed his studies. He doesn't seem to like visitors. He's a bit suspicious, same with the other guy. Ormus. One of them is probably evil. Yes. So, you've returned with the book. You surprise me. You must be very resourceful. My order has been keeping watch over Ormus. Good day. I trust you already know Mashif, but did you know that he was born and raised here? I suspect that like many of us, his spirit is near broken at the sight of Karas decline. Only our brand of gallows humor saves us from utter despair. We can move to Upper Crest. Could move to this place from uh, from the sewers. I remember that. Now. Or we can go by land. The enemies have respawned, so we'll fight them. Okay. Now we have the map. If we exit the game, we will lose the map. That's why I want to go there now. Feel more skillful. seems lighter.
Oh, there is the waypoint. Okay, we will end here. Upper crest has been found. We will kill everyone there again. In the next video, we will finish Upper crest and Traveling Claw. So we have two more quests. I believe this one and then we will get this one soon probably. Okay, thank you for watching and see you in the next video. Bye. So this is how my character would look if I didn't use the Daryl <laughs> mod. Uh, an Amazon. Okay, thank you for watching. Bye.